Hello there, Mark Cunningham here, and in this video we're going to take a quick tour of Xero projects using the Australian version of Xero's demo company. This video is part of a full series on Xero projects, so if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. So let's jump into the demo company now and take a tour of Xero projects. Now if you haven't done already, make sure you enable projects by going to the drop down menu and clicking on projects. So it's not here for me because I've already enabled it. And once you've enabled it, you can go to projects and all projects. And you'll be taken to a screen where you can click on get started. And then you end up here on the main projects dashboard screen. So I'll just show you how to get here if you were starting from the main dashboard. So all you would do is you would go to projects and all projects. Okay, and as you can see, that takes us to the same screen. So this is the main screen that summarizes the projects that you've got going on at the moment. And you can see over here on the top left, there's a couple of different tabs. There's one called draft. And in the demo company, we don't have any draft projects. So they're all in progress. And you can see there that we've got four projects currently in progress here in the demo company. And then you've also got the close tab and there's none actually closed in the demo company, but later on in the course, when we close some projects, they'll appear here in closed. So I'll just click back on there. Okay. And then in the middle here, it's, it's a list of the projects that you've got going on at the moment. And if you've got a lot of projects um, in your business, then you can have quite a long list. So you can use this search box up here if you need to search. Um, by say their name, um, for example. And you've also got a way of sorting out your list over here by contact deadline or project name, and you can put it in reverse there as well. So obviously if you've, if you've only got a few projects, you won't need to do that. You can just see them all here easily. Now at the top here, you've also got the project summary report. So I won't click on that at the moment. We'll have a look at that later. Uh, I just wanted to show you where the button is. And then if you want to create a new project, you can create one either as a draft or you can create it already in progress. So if I just click on draft, you can see there that we can just create a project with all those parameters and it will end up in draft or in progress. So it's the same thing, but it will just end up here on the in progress tab. And then finally over on the right there, you've got your project settings. And if you click on that, it just takes you to the screen where you've got the staff cost rates, which is something that we'll have a look at soon as well. So I'll just go back to that screen. Okay, so now that we've had a look through the screen, let's actually click into a project and have a look at it. So what we've got here is we've started off on the tasks and expenses tab, and then you've also got time, quotes and invoices, and a profitability report. So on tasks and expenses, you can see there's a bit of a summary at the top here of some main KPIs like the estimate. So we're estimating that we're going to invoice $3,000 to the customer in total, and we haven't invoiced any. Um, you can see there we've invoiced um, nil there. And then we've also got some time and expenses that have been racked up, um, but they, they are uninvoiced at the moment. And then we've also got a deadline date over here as well. And down here, we've got our list of tasks, which is something that we'll look at uh, later on. So each project should have some tasks. And then scrolling down, you can see that we've got no expenses uh, for this project at the moment. So we will have a look at this in more detail as we go. All right, so we'll just have a look at the time tab. And you can see that the, we've, we've had some time booked to this project. There's, there's two hours, 45 minutes and half an hour there. And then quotes and invoices, we've got nothing. Profitability, we've got a nice report there that we'll have a look at um, in more detail a bit later on in the course. And then I'll just go back to tasks and expenses. And we'll just have a look at these buttons at the top. You can see that you can add tasks, time entries, estimated expenses or expenses. You can also quote tasks and estimated expenses or a project amount. And you can also create invoices to send to your clients. So you can do a deposit invoice, you can do tasks and expenses, you can send them a quote, and you can do the um, project amount as well. So we'll look at all that a bit later on. And then finally at the top here, you've also got the status. You can change the status 
um, of the project. So if this one um, ends up being finished, you can change it to closed. You can edit. If you need to edit the details, maybe change the contact or the project name or the deadline date. And also you can see that you can duplicate the project if you want to make a quick copy of it for another project, or you can just delete it. Okay, so we'll just go back to the all projects screen. And just to show you, you can see you've got some of these key details at the top here. You've got deadline date and you've got the estimate um, of the total that we're planning on invoicing the client. You've got a little progress bar here as well. Um, and then you've also got a little menu here, which has that um, same status that you can change and also the edit, duplicate and delete buttons. All right, so that's that screen. If we go into projects and time entries, okay, you can see that there's a few time entries there and they're all here on Monday the 15th. If we click on the other days, there's actually nothing there. And we can see that three of the time entries have gone to the uh, tax compliance project and the other one to the um, new patio project there for the Lunar Cafe. Obviously, if you want to put in a new time entry, you just click on this button up here. Okay, so that's that screen. So if we go to staff time overview. Okay, so this is just a report, just an overview report, um, like it says. And then finally, we've got staff cost rates. And this is one where we can actually put in the um, charge rates for um, each of the people who work for us that we can uh, charge into our projects. Okay, so I'll just go back to the main screen. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the tour. And in the next video in the series, we're going to have a look at staff cost rates in zero projects.